Hey guys, how the frig's it going? Well, today's my last day off. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is, you know? And tomorrow we go back to the grind of working. But we only work for three days, then we're off for four. You probably just saw the oil change video yesterday. If you didn't, it'll be right here. Check that out. And uh, for tonight, I want to have a good meal. I didn't not like I didn't have a good meal last night at the parents' house. That's where I was yesterday. I didn't bother filming yesterday because I didn't know if we were going to be doing anything worthy of filming. And it was pretty much just a hangout, and that was about it. So that's why I'm doing a double up today. We got the oil change done on the G6, which is freaking awesome. And now I want to cook an awesome meal and show you some stuff because Dad gave me a bunch of shit yesterday, and uh, I got some shit for him. Like for instance. Uh, I gave my brother some shit today too. Um, you remember how I had that crock pot sitting on Oreo's crate? Well, I gave that to my brother and I gave him the deep fryer, which was down here somewhere. I'm never going to use a deep fryer. That shit's just like grilling fat and fat, and it's just going to make you sick, right? But anyway, for supper tonight, uh, we got ourselves a steak. Oh my goodness. This is a nice looking steak too. It's a peppercorn steak. Check that out, Montreal Spice Steak. This is gonna be delicious. So we're gonna barbecue that up. Gonna make some mashed potatoes, some vegetables. It's gonna be a good meal. So come along with me while I cook this. That come out to the garage, cause you gotta see what dad gave me. It's pretty fucking sweet. Friggin' wasps. Do I have a squirt bottle in here somewhere? It's gonna show you the awesome trick for dropping a wasp. You uh, mist water in their general direction, their wings stop working, they come plummeting to the ground, then you can stomp them out. But, uh, oh, look at this. Little spider. Little spider. Anyway, uh, something Dad got me yesterday when I went over was he bought me a new blade for my mower. Look at this. Freaking Craftsman blade. No idea how much this, these things cost. But he said he had it in the garage or in the shop, and he wasn't sure if it was for his mower or mine. It's bent weird though, eh? Look at the way it's bent. Look at that. That's odd. I guess it's to make sure it gets everything. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, it probably serves a purpose for directing the grass out the uh, the chute, maybe. So we're going to have to put that on one of these days. So I'm just going to take this and put it over here with, uh, with on the mower with the roundup. I gotta make some roundup too. I gotta spray that area back there. And right now I'm just waiting for this thing to uh, yeah, catch fire. That's perfect. Fuck it. We'll let that burn off. And yeah, we're gonna make that peppercorn steak. Afterwards, we're gonna go in the house. We're gonna make some mashed potatoes, some mixed vegetables. It's gonna be awesome. Now, I brought this thing back here. I was laying on this underneath the car because laying on the rocks just did not sound appealing. And I want to keep it in the sun so it can dry out. So we'll just toss it right here. But yeah, I love these uh, click together floorboard things. They uh, really save your back when you're laying on rock. And they're easy as frig to clean off if you coat them in oil. Literally, spray them with a garden hose. Oil goes off. Of course, now the oil's into my ground, which probably isn't good, but frig it. Made a little bit of a mess, not a big deal. One of these days I need to take these heat deflectors off, bring them in the house and soak them and SOS pad them, get all the grizzle off of it. So the next project's gonna be to do the plugs. I don't know when I'll get the chance to do that, but I will figure it out. I wanna do the plugs, uh, the wires, and see if that gives me a boost in economy. My buddy said it'll give me a boost in performance. I could care less about performance. If I could like turn down the performance knob and turn up the economy knob, fuck I'd do her. Because uh, it's not a race car, it's a fucking G6. But um, that's what I want to do next. And uh, the motor oil that I use, I never really showed it in the video in case anybody was wondering. It's uh, this shit here, Mobile Super 1000. So I was on sale for 20 bucks at Walmart. Figured frig it, let's give her a go. Doesn't. If it's shit, well, we can always drop it and put more, more, more motor uh, oil in it. Because we do have access to the ramps. So that makes things a lot easier for getting underneath the front end. And while I was under there, I didn't really see any problems with any of the suspension. So I'm thinking it's the bearings. 
and I can't remember who it was, but there was a YouTuber, uh, a friend of mine named Nathan sent me the video, and it was of how a strut is built. And the guy was tearing apart the strut, like he used spring compressors, took the springs out, and he took apart the stop mount, and he showed the type of bearing that these struts ride on. And it's literally a vinyl disc that's super greased up. And he said sometimes you'll hear in your uh, in your steering, crunk, 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 crunk. And what that is, is that's that vinyl gear, or that vinyl uh, disc binding because it's not greased up. And he said at that point there, you need to replace your, your mount. And he shows how to do that. And it's like, well, you know what? These fucking struts are shit. They're already leaking. Like the struts are leaking on the, on the passenger side. You can hear it not, like when it compresses, you're like, like it's, it's not doing its job. So, um... I'm thinking when I can afford it, I'm going to buy myself some good struts, like some Moog or something good. And we'll do quick struts in the front. My, I watched my buddy do it. it. wasn't too hard. Three bolts in the top, two bolts underneath the tire. Fucking strut slides right out. Put your new strut in, reverse the process, and Bob's your uncle. So we're going to do that. We're going to do plugs. And I still want to do a body, wear, a body job on it because, like, I've showed you guys this many times. The body has seen better days. This side's not too bad, except for there. That's a pretty bad spot. But the real bad spot is over here. Like, this is really bad. Like, we got holes in the paint and holes in the paint. And so, it needs a, a quick rattle can job. That should be golden. What the fuck happened here? Huh. Okay. Never seen those dents before. Those are pretty new. Probably me. But uh, I want to do that. I want to restore the headlights. Basically, if I can get this car running perfectly fine, and I'm not going to bother buying a new car, I'm just going to drive the cock out of this one here until she grenades. Because those 3500s are pretty tough engines, as long as you do your oil changes and shit. And I've never gone over my time for the oil change. Uh, I always checked the oil and made sure it still felt good and still was oily oily not freaking watery and the oil I pulled out of there wasn't even black it was like a light brown or it was a dark brown so it was on its way it probably could have got another 2,000 kilometers out of it before I needed to drop it but we're coming up on September and once the winter hits if I have to get an oil change done it's gonna be at a garage but I don't see myself doing 7,500 kilometers between now and next spring so, like, I, I don't plan on driving to blokes, because uh, I'm probably going to be working all winter. Who knows? I don't plan on doing anything extravagant for any field trips. So I should be okay until next year. I'll just keep an eye on it, and if it looks, starts to look pretty shitty, then if I have to, I'll bring her over to Canadian Tire, or bring her over to the Just Lubes, and I'll take one in the air. So I'll just get them to fill it with conventional oil instead, just to last me until... I can drop it and put the good shit in, maybe. You see, the way I see it is, is if I spend more time doing mechanical shit myself <coughs> and, and getting, getting around the anxiety that trying new stuff gives me, if I can do that, then I can do my own mechanical work on my cars. I can learn how to become a mechanic, a backyard mechanic. And, like, the oil is not too hard. The spark plugs on the G6, they are in a whacked out location. I know people online have researched it and have admitted that it's going to be quite the job for me because I'm not mechanically inclined and I don't know all the tips and tricks. Like people who work on cars have tips and tricks. Like they see a problem and it's like me when I'm working, like troubleshooting a computer. Somebody brings a computer with a problem, I see the problem and my mind just starts working and comes up with a solution for me to try. And if it fails, there's a solution right away. And my buddy Chuck is like that with cars. Like when we did the window motors in the Trans Am, uh, we couldn't put the bolt through to mount to the new motor because it would hit the window. So he came up with this method of taking my copper wire and he wrapped it around the bolt and then he passed the wire through the hole from the back and when he pulled it through, the bolt came through and then he just put a nut on the end and friggin' done. And I've never seen that technique before and it was brilliant. And he's got a ton of those and I know a lot of the guys watching my shit, you guys are like that too. You're mechanics and you have a lot of tips and tricks for doing stuff like that. Like I'm figuring this out. I'm like level one novice. So I did my oil today and it held. So that's probably cool. 
Uh, if I get the plug, uh, plugs done, that should be a level up probably. That'll make me a level 2 freaking novice mechanic, so that's alright. And the struts, that should bring me pretty up to a level 3, right? Would you think? Fuck, I'm treating life like a video game again. I gotta quit doing that. Problem with anxiety, right? Like, you got this friggin' voice in your head that constantly tells you, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. And the objective is, is just not to listen to that voice and fucking do it. Like, if I would have screwed something up, I'm sure I could have called Dad and said, Hey, yeah, I fucked up. I uh, broke something. Uh, I need to drive the crappy tire to pick this up. Or he would have been over here to help me out and drive me uh, over there to get something. But luckily we did it in one shot. We had no problems. And, you know, it was a good time. Like, the video was a bitch to edit because GoPros suck. But uh, all in all, I'd say it was a pretty funny video. Like, I had the music in the background there from good old Incomtech. Freaking love that guy. He makes some great music for YouTube. Uh, way better than the fucking half ass shit I was banging out, that's for sure. But I'm not a musician, so what do you expect? So, big, big props to Incomtech for, uh, for the music for YouTube, royalty free. Just stab a link in the uh, description and you can use it too. Yay! Hornets in here. Like,. Why come you not doing your job, bud? Let me guess, they built a nest inside of you, probably? Wouldn't that be something? Hornets building a hornet nest inside of a fake hornet nest. Double barrier! So, so far in the car, all we've done was, like I said, the oil and the wipers. That's pretty much all we got done. Main problem is, is finances and work. While at work, I have no time to dick around with this thing. Because... I got so mentally friggin' flustered that the last thing I want to do is come home and spin wrenches or do anything physical. I just want to sit down on my computer, watch some YouTubes, unwind, and go to bed. So, but luckily this week we have three days on, and then we're off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This Sunday is the boat trip. Mom's like so excited for this too, like big time excited. So, we'll, uh, uh, like she was saying, like the boat trip is, uh, it's real fun. It's like we go through a canal and stuff, and a lot of cool stuff to shoot for video. So she's like, oh yeah, bring your camera for sure and stuff. You're going to love it, the videos. And oh man, and like she was like really excited for it. So I'm kind of excited too now. It's been since I was, I think I was six years old the last time I went on the Chief Commander. So uh, yeah, that was about an hour ago, probably. No, no, that was about friggin', yeah, that was about 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago, before YouTube was actually YouTube and the internet was fast, you know? Uh, or the internet existed pretty much for that matter. Christ, back then nobody even talked about the internet. Oh my god, this steak is coming out so good. So anxious to fucking shove it in my face. It's funny, I was wearing this shirt the other day, and my buddy's like, LPB and proud, what the fuck does that mean? Do you realize, that, like, this looks like Punisher, right? Looks like the Punisher emblem? But if you play, pay close attention, it's totally an ethernet jack, like a RJ45. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like an RJ45, shaped like an RJ45, but it's the Punisher skull. LPB stands for Low Pinging Bastard. See, I bought this shirt back in 2000, maybe 99, when I got DSL at the house. All my friends were still on dial up, and Bell rolled into town and offered DSL. One meg down, a quarter meg up. Fast as frig, because like dial up was the standard. High speed was a thing of the what? What's going on? I hear movement over here. We have a mouse. Is there a mouse in my garage? Son of a bitch. Anyway, high speed internet was a thing of the past, or a thing of the future. And when North Bay got it, I got on the friggin' waiting list straight away. And it only took five days on the waiting list. They called me up and said, Hey, we're rolling a truck up. Install your DSL. You anxious? And I was like, Yeah. Well, I had it. We used to play a lot of. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D and Counter-Strike over the internet. When on dial-up, you know, a ping of 250 was good on dial-up. ping of 300 was not too bad. A ping of 500 kind of caused problems because then you had to play with lag. Played a lot of StarCraft, the original, over internet. And it really sucked. Like, it was hard to play on dial-up. And the moment I got DSL, I was like, holy shit. And then I started getting into the MMORPGs, like Ultima Online, which was a great game for the time. Uh, and, you know, before on dial-up, you'd sign into Napster. Remember Napster? Yeah, you remember Napster, probably. Unless you're, like, really young, then you wouldn't. But Napster was a service where you could download music. On dial-up, it would take you about 45 minutes to download one 4-meg song. When I got the DSL, holy shit, like, my brother would come up to me and be like, Oh, can you download the new Stone Temple Pilots album? And I'd be like, bit, 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 done, downloaded. 
can you burn it for me? Boop, done, burnt, you know? And because uh, I used to have an external one of those plugs into the printer port, uh, a parallel ported uh, burner, two times burning. And my brother would bug me all the time to burn them CDs of it, eh? So that's what I would do, download it on a little friggin' illegal as frig, eh? But uh, back then, who gave a fuck until Metallica got on board and Napster died? But um, that's what we used to do. It was a good time. And the whole reason why I got the shirt LPB and Proud is because all my buddies were still on dial up, and here I was on the high speed. And we'd jump into Counter Strike, and they'd all be sitting in the 250 to 400 range for ping, and I'd be sitting at 36. And I would kill everyone because it was like they were playing at my house, like they were sitting in my house and playing, and I was just devastating them. It was a good time. It was a good time. LPB and proud, bitches. LPB and proud. Frig yeah. But I'm wearing this shirt because I haven't had a shower yet uh, since the oil change. I was going to have one, but then I realized it's like still fucking hot as hell out. And after I eat potatoes, I'm going to start sweating like crazy. So, frig it. I'll have a shower later on tonight. And then uh, by then it'll be cooled down so I won't be sweating so much. And I won't be going into work tomorrow smelling like a friggin' like an oil change. But... I think, uh, I think this steak is fucking done. I think she's done. She looks pretty good. Juicy as shit. All right, let's call her quits. We'll head in the house. We'll uh, get the potatoes going and the veggies. So for vegetables, I'm just gonna rock this. You know, some peas and beans and carrots and whatever the hell that orange thing is. Alrighty, starting to boil. That's a good sign. I'm thinking one of these days I'm going to put my solar panel on that thing and see if I can get it to start and then take her for a rip. But uh, all the uh, weeds we whacked already. Pretty dead, but look at the comeback. Oh, I got to get the fucking roundup ready. Get out there and just blast her and get her done. But uh, also in the back 40, threw a whole bunch of fertilizer in there and watered it. So that should hopefully help with the decomposing. And I'm probably just going to say fuck it and bury that anyway. I wanted to do it today, but yeah, yeah, you know how things are. You know how I do. Almost, but not quite, buddy. Almost, but not quite. Alrighty, steak and veg is done. Just got to put some potatoes on here and we got ourselves a plate. And there you have it, just like that. Sunday dinner, boys. Steak, potatoes, and veg. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, you probably have better Sunday dinners than that, like a full roast beef with like gravy and shit, but... Fuck, I'm a single dude living on my own. Leave me alone about it, man. Probably. Right, buddy? That's all you ever do. All right, guys. Dinner was friggin' awesome. And I'm going to go shave my head and have a shower. Yeah, I got a towel down here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shave my head and have a shower. And... Darkness. Lightness. Before and after. As you can tell, I got a lot of hair on my face. I'm sweaty as fuck right now. I need a shower big time, people, so I'm going to shut the vlog down here. We're going to call her quits. Choochin and I plan on playing some GTA tonight. So on that note, I'm going to shut her down. So, on, you know, big time thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I talked a lot today and got a lot of shit did. But tomorrow it's back to work, so I don't know what the hell the videos are going to be like from that point on. But next Sunday we do have the boat ride, so that should be pretty awesome. So... Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment, people. And until next time, keep on vlogging.